Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Today I received the message that my Chewy Gemini book arrived in the warehouse in Spain and that they are sending it to me through regular parcel service. One of the things I'm going to do is run a live Ubuntu USB stick and here I will show you how to create a live USB stick. So first you have to download a Ubuntu image. So in this case it's 20.04 with the 0.1 patch. I already downloaded this one and near the bottom you have a tutorial try before you install run Ubuntu from a USB or DVD and actually at the moment I'm already running from a live USB stick and I created that live USB stick on Windows and Ubuntu recommends using Rufus. It is a free and open source tool but unfortunately it's only available on Windows and it is a really easy tool and in the advanced format options you can also create a new partition to have persistence so that any changes you make or any files you download they will stay available but i was hoping to do everything in linux and after some research I found this article on how to geek and here they say you can use it or you can create it with make USB and the thing is with a live USB stick the Ubuntu universe repository is not enabled by default so you have to type this in a terminal then you have to add the make usb repository do an update and install it i already did that and here it also says that you need to have super user permissions and on the live usb stick you have those permissions so you don't need to know the password and the thing is is that the persistence is using a linux partition so if you want to share the files with, let's just say, a Windows system, Windows cannot read a ext4 partition by default. But it seems that in the future, it is possible to mount Linux file systems within Windows. So in the future it is no longer needed to have a NTFS partition to share files with a Windows system on the USB stick but just for this example I will still go with the NTFS partition so we're going to start make USB and yes we want to start it 
and here is the warning that your target device will be completely overwritten so you really have to make sure you are addressing the correct device uh, meanwhile i hope i'm still in time i'm going to insert the target usb stick and in this case this is a sony usb stick and we'll go with install make a boot device so we'll press i uh, well, we don't have to press i just select it and okay and we'll go with persistent live that's only available for debian and ubuntu here we have to select the image i already downloaded it and here it's quite easy to see which is the correct device and unless you have two identical usb sticks then it gets a bit harder but in general sdb is probably the device that you just inserted well in my case i know the sony stick is 64 gigabytes the samsung stick is 128 so that's also how i know that i have the correct usb stick and perhaps here you see another device and that is the ssd from my windows laptop that we're actually running on so here we go and ubuntu reported a problem and well it looks like we're still running so in this case we'll just go with the usb pack efi and continue so this is actually quite nice that you can use this slider that you can decide how much storage will be used for the X4 partition for the in this case Ubuntu persistence and how much will be left for the NTFS partition in this case I'll just go with 50 50 and just decide for yourself how you want to divide it Select version of USB pack. Well, we'll just go with the default. And yes, I really want to go ahead. I mean, this is the point of no return. When you pick the wrong device, then it's going to override it. But in this case, I'm pretty sure I have the right one. This can take some time so I'll pause the recording here and I'll come back when it's done well that took several minutes but here we have the message that everything is done the target device is ready to use So now we can quit. I thought I said quit, but anyway, in this 
window, we can also press enter to finish. Well, I'm not really sure what was causing the error for Ubuntu, but it looks like everything worked. And once my Chewy Gemi book arrives, I will try the live USB stick with it and see how well Ubuntu will run on the Chewy Gemi book. So I hope the laptop will arrive soon and then I hope to see you again in my next video.